Hello everyone and I hope you're doing super great. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can deal with the material effect selected. It's not compatible with this object. So basically, let's create that error and I'll show you how that happens. So I'll click here on the log error. I'll right click and click clear and I'll attempt to recreate this error. So let's say I have a fill layer selected. I'll just hide this uh, layer underneath. And with this fill layer, what we can do is to add let's say we want to add a filter to this fill layer right here so i'll go to filter and let's look for this uh, matte finish let's see uh let's use any of these matte filters it doesn't matter let's use this one so here we can actually see we have matte finish hammered and this filter is applied on the entire object we can just prove that by turning this off and turning it on and what we can do is to start adding things like our scale and try to reduce the detail density and do a whole lot of things to it now this on its own is not looking really interesting what if we want to you know add this filter to separate sections so to do that i'll just go over on the fill, fill layer and with the fill layer selected i'll just click here to this add effect and let's sorry let's add a black mask so i'll add a black mask just to hide everything so now we have a fill layer if we click on the fill layer we have a filter called matte finish hammered and we can't see that because we're using this mask to hide the content of that filter now the problem comes when we actually have a mask and we're trying to apply in an effect that is that requires some certain inputs like our normals our coverture because remember these effects affect each material channel you have so let's go ahead and add a filter on this fill layer so to do that i'll click the fill layer go over here and i'll click on add filter and it's asking me for a filter to select let's go ahead and select any of these matte finishes and you actually get hit with this error that says material effect selected is not compatible with this content and that actually makes sense right so there are some specific filters that you use on fill layers and there are filters that you use on masks so let's go ahead and get rid of this filter we applied here so a filter like a uh, a bevel would work right so we could actually go over here to our assets and sorry we could just go here and say add a filter and we could search for a uh, let's see uh, let's search for a bevel so I'll do a bevel like so it's not coming up let's just use this let's see or we can use things like sharpen now these won't actually complain if I sorry if I go to the filter and go to the filter properties and click on filter to have this filter menu if I click on the bevel we can actually see this uh, pops up right even though we're on the mask so let's get rid of that and what we can add is a generator if we add a generator to this like so we can actually see this is actually uh, working so I'll just go ahead and click on this guy and it says this is an empty generator so let's go ahead and click a dirt generator and what's going to happen is we're going to see our results coming back on we can actually see that content that's contained in the fill there remember we clicked a matte finish hammered and we now masked it with a black mask we can't see everything anything so here if i all click on the mask we have some sections that have been darkened and lightened so it is going to use these areas to actually make the effect visible so basically we're using a procedural noise to create that effect so i'll just click on the material to get back to the material and we can see what's happening uh, right here so what we can start doing from here is if we go back to that uh, dirt filter we can now use the dirt devil to specify where we want this texture to appear so we can see it's like kind of like fading out here but on the insides we can actually see that effect around here so we can do things like control the contrast so basically if you're getting this error on compatibility it just means you're using a filter or an effect where it's not supposed to be used there are some filters you use on fill layers paint layers and there are some filters that work best with masks 
So uh, hopefully that clears it. And in case you're having that issue, you'll get to understand that you need to apply some specific filters to masks and some specific filters to fill layers. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next quick tip.